Hello, friends. It is I. I am back to bestow you with knowledge and power. And after this, you'll be one step closer to learning every little secret of stable diffusion. And I will be out of a YouTube job. And if you stick around, I'll show you a hidden feature that's not even in the features list yet. Today, we're going to talk about the prompt editing. And as it says here, prompt editing allows you to start sampling one picture, but in the middle, swap to something else. And it's basically here you have a man and here's a woman and they have been merged together. Let's say you start with a man and then at 50% you change your prompt to a woman. So it makes half a man and half a woman. Here it's 100% woman and here it's, uh, well, 99% man. Let me show you how that works with a couple of examples. Let's go into our stable diffusion and this is automatics. Let's write Llama as painted by Derek Sabrocki. Now here we have a cute little llama. It's very fluffy and um, probably needs a shave. So let's start prompt editing this. Let's add brackets. I'm going to add in our second prompt, which will be tiger. And then when it's going to change the prompt. So we're running 50 sample steps and we're going to run llama for 25 steps. And then we're going to run tiger for 25 steps. So I'm going to put 25 here. You could also do 0.5 which would be 50%, but it's the same as 25. So let's generate. You could probably see that it was changing between a llama and a tiger. And the end result, we have our llama, but at 25 steps, it tried to make a tiger instead. And we ended up with this. We still have the llama face, but the fur is, well, it's a, sort of a mix between a llama and a tiger. So let me show you how 0.5 is just the exact same thing. We have the llama here, we're going to see the tiger here, and then it's going to merge the two and give us our end result. Let's tone this down. Let's go 10 steps. We're going to go the llama 10 steps, and then the tiger will get 40 steps. So now we're seeing lots more tiger. Let's see where this takes us. Whoa, that's nightmare fodder, all right. Let's quickly move on to something else. Cube, cat, and let's do half as well. So now we're getting cube 25 steps and then the cat 25 steps. So possibly we're going to get a square cat. And we sort of did. It looks super weird, but you can see here's the edges of the cube. But uh, he doesn't look happy about being a cube cat. So let's see, we can uh, make him a box cat. And let's up the steps. So now we're going to have a box for 35 steps and then a cat for the remaining 15 steps. We're getting some crazy results here now. You can see the box clearly, and then it just had no idea what to do and put the cat on there. Let's try something else. Let's change the cat to a tree. Let's go back to 50%. So that would be 25 on box and 25 on tree, since we have 50 here. So it started making a box, and then the AI just went, Ah, oh, what? Then we can't make a tree out of this. Let's just paint the tree on the box and call it a painting. Put a stool in there and it will look real. So yeah, that's prompt editing. So you can basically put anything here or here. You're gonna transfer from this to this and the change will be set here of how many steps. Now let's talk a little bit about prompt alternating, which is similar, but not exactly the same. Now prompt editing is when you change from one thing to another. Prompt alternating is when you keep alternating back and forth. Let's take rows and a panda. Now it will begin with the rows. It will swap to the panda, then back to rows, back to panda, back to rows, back to panda, and just try to make sense of it until the end. So let's see what happens. So it sort of tried to merge the rows on the panda and the prompt you put in first is going to be more weighted. So it's going to be a rose that looks like a panda. If you put it the other way around, if you put panda first, you would have a panda trying to look like a rose. So this can give some interesting results. Now you can also make more advanced prompts. Let's try rose as painted by Derek Sobrocki. Then add the line in there. Panda as painted by Asher Brown Durand. And close it with brackets. Now usually the brackets are to decrease the weight of something. But when you're doing prompt editing or prompt alternating, these have a different use. And the prompt alternating is the big line here. And the prompt editing is, is the column. Now let's run this. Rose is painted by Derek Sabrocki. Change or alternate to Panda is painted by Asher Brown Durand. And it's going to alternate between these two. Let's generate. You can see the rose. You can see the panda. 
it's going to turn back into the rose. And you have a bouquet of roses that resembles a panda, especially the black spots here inside the white. Let's try something else. Let's go with skull rose. And again, skull is our primary prompt here, the most weighted prompt. So it's a skull influenced by roses. Now let's do something crazy. Now we have the prompt alternating here. Skull alternating between a skull and a rose is painted by Derek Zabrocki. So those are going to alternate for 25 frames. And then we're going to turn that into a llama for the next 25 frames. So we're doing prompt alternating and prompt editing at the same time. Let's generate and see what happens. Now this is really messed up. I don't know what you would use this for, but it's just an example of you probably don't need to use this in the same prompt, but you might just want to use alternating or editing by themselves. It's just a way to show you what can be done in stable diffusion. Now let's end this with something more positive. Let's go back to the llama and change that into a box. So we got our llama. It's a little, a little boxier but not quite there. So let's try and see if we can turn it into a box five steps earlier. I mean, he's bigger. Let's go even earlier. This might mess him up, but he's been with us long enough. Yeah, he's with us no more. He's now a box and his llama friends are mourning his passing. Goodbye, dear llama. So yeah, I hope you had fun. I hope these tips will help you create something cool that you can incorporate in your workflow. It was no problema. So I'll just, I'll pack up my bags and go. Bye-bye.